Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, how are you? Everything good? Teacher. Hello, welcome. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. And you? Pretty good, not bad at all. It's good to see uh, many of you. Um, how was your weekend? How was the weekend? Pretty good, not so good? Tell me about it. It's so tired. It was a tired weekend? We need to take a rest to recuperate. To recover. To recover <laughs> from, from, from the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally understand. Sometimes that happens. We need to, we need to recover from, from vacations. <laughs> Yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah. I wish, you know, for me, I think we should do it the other way around. I think we should do um, two days of work and five days for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> right? That would be wonderful. <laughs> it's a wish. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what country in the world it is. I, I, I don't know if it's I don't remember what Switzerland. I don't know, but I know recently there was a country in the Middle East that um, decided to adopt um, two and a half days for the weekend. So now they work up to um, half of uh, like just just the half day in um, a on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. So now they have two and a half days of weekend, which I think is awesome. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, we should do something like that here in, 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 in El Salvador. <laughs> I don't think it Definitely. will happen, but we should. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, um, anybody did something interesting on the weekend? No. Just work. <laughs> work. Really? You worked you worked all Saturday and Sunday? Uh, I worked uh, yesterday from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wow. 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Wow, that's a long shift. Wow. But yes. Do you have the, uh, during the week, do you have a day off? Yes, I have two days off. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, tomorrow is my first day off in the weekend. And after that, it going, is going to be, or maybe Sunday or Saturday. Oh, okay. So you have, you're going to have Tuesday off and then you go back to work on Wednesday and then maybe on the weekend you have one day. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, well, hopefully. And do you have do you have vacation in in April? No. <laughs> no, teacher. It's a call center. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I understand. I completely understand. <laughs> it's my it's my same situation. Yeah. So I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna be working also. Uh, and in, in April, uh, you know, for the week, but um, the well, at least we'll, we'll, we will have uh, it's double. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's one. That's one um, advantage. And um, the other thing is that at least we'll have um, the the nights off because we won't be having classes, right? So it will be a little bit longer, <laughs> a little bit longer rest. Yeah. Okay, anybody else? Did you guys do anything interesting on the weekend? No? Nothing interesting? No? Okay. Well, I actually, um, I, 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 um, I went out uh, for the weekend. 
after a very, very long time of not going out on weekends or any other day. Um, so I went to, um, we went to the Ruta de las Flores. So that was very okay. nice. Yeah, that was very, very nice. Huh? Or watch a farm. Uh, no, well, uh, we went to, um, well, we didn't do the whole Ruta de las Flores, but we did some of them. Um, we went to Ataco and we went to the maze, the maze that is in Albania. Oh, okay. You know, you know the maze, yeah. Yes. So it's we went to the maze, yeah. So that was that was nice. Okay. Very nice, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it's it was a long time. I, I I hadn't been able to do that in a very long time, so I was. You know, I needed it. <laughs> well, guys, I'm glad to see you guys back, um, to see everybody back on the um, during this week. Uh, by the way, guys, um, just a reminder that um, today is our 10th day of class because remember, we didn't have one day of class um, two weeks ago. Um, we didn't have it during the week, so that means that today is our 10th day of class, and that means that tomorrow I'm going to be um, I'm going to be doing the report of your of your um, what's it called of uh, your notes like your grades better said so your grades for uh, the platform. So um, I'm letting you know ahead of time it's only two exercises that you have to do, okay? Which is really nice because um, all you have to do is um, you're gonna do exercise two point, let me see, 2.2 and 2.5, that's it. 2.2 and 2.5, okay? That's all I'm gonna be checking uh, for next class. But next week, so next um, Monday, we, you will have to have finished all of unit two. So you're gonna be doing 2.6, sorry, 2.8 and 2 point, hold on. Let me see, let me see if I can find it. Teacher, can you repeat, can you? To repeat uh, the point to to do for tomorrow, right? Yeah, it, to, it, for tomorrow, it's you just have to do two, okay? Which is two point two and two point five. That's it. No more. You don't need more, okay? But okay. next week, you're gonna be having to do two all point. topic, all unit. Yeah, you're gonna have to finish the whole unit, right? So, which will 2.8, 2.11, and 2.14. So there's going to be three. And on top of that, you have to have finished the midterm. Okay, so next week, you're going to have to do three exercises plus the midterm. My suggestion is start working on the midterm. If you haven't done the midterm yet, start working on the midterm. Okay. And that way you don't have so much to do for the next week. Okay? Sounds good? Yes? Okay, teacher. Yeah, it's clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so just some... Um, just uh, reminding you about that, we are going to then start uh, with our, um, well, first of all, we have to do attendance, right? That's the first thing we got to do, okay? So um, if you guys can, um, can help me there with the, with the cameras, okay? Si me pueden ayudar ahí con las camaritas, necesitamos ver sus lindas caritas para poder tomar la asistencia. Así es de que si me ayudan con eso, les agradecería mucho. Ok. 
Okay, let's start. Okay, Cristina. Wonderful, welcome Cristina. And Annie. Annie, no veo Annie. No, verdad? Okay, Mari. Mari. All right, Carolina. Present teacher. Welcome, Carolina. Thank you. Christy. Christy. Veo una silueta, pero no sé. Christy. Hello. I think she's having audio problems. It's okay, Christy. No worries. I, I I can see, I can see that you're connected and you're in, in your you're you're in your car. So don't worry about it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen. Karen. No. Uh, no, Christina, we, uh, Christy, sorry, no, Christy, we cannot, at least I can't hear you. I don't know if, if it's just me, but I can't hear Christy. Can anybody else hear Christy? No? Yeah, I think it, it might have to do with the, with the, um, with the, ear, the, 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 ear, the earphones. Maybe the earphones are, have like a problem with the microphone. But it's okay, Christy, no worries. I thank you very much that you are connected. Uh, I always tell you guys, I prefer you to be connected even from your car, uh, but to not be connected at all, okay? So uh, please connect, um, that way we don't have any problems also with the attendance, because remember we need to have an 80% attendance, okay? Karen? Uh, Karen, we said no, right? Um, Karina. Present. Okay, welcome, Karina. Leonardo. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome, Leonardo. Linda. Linda. Okay. Uh, Marlene. Marlene? No, okay. Uh, Miguel? Miguel? No? Okay. Uh, Nelson G? I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Nelson A? Present, teacher. Welcome, Nelson. Norma? Present teacher. Ah, welcome, Norma. Thank you. Olga. Present teacher. Ah. Present. Uh, ah, okay, got it. See you. Okay. Thank you, Olga. And Omar. Present. Okay. Uh, Omar. Eh, do you have in front of your name the word listener? ¿A qué se refiere? Solo está de oyente, Miss. Ah, ok. Bye. La, la palabra oyente eh, debe de ponerse solamente en el caso de que usted literalmente esté en la lista como un oyente. Pero, um, pero si, o sea, si usted está en la lista oficial, no debe de poner nada. Esto, eso es solamente eh, en, en caso es que los um, evaluadores de INSAFORC entren y entonces puedan ver que, que alguien en la clase no está en la lista oficial y dicen quién es, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasa? Entonces, es por eso que se pone la palabra oyente. Pero de lo contrario, no debe de ponerse nada. Ok, Omar, así sí. que, solo, bueno, esto es para todos, ¿verdad? Porque a veces yo, yo, yo sé, hay esa confusión, ¿verdad? De que, 
qué significa ser oyente. Pero oyente simplemente significa de que por A o B o X motivo no está en la lista oficial con INSAFOR y se debe de poner la palabra oyente después del nombre para que es cuando evalúen, cuando los, los, los evaluadores de Instafor eh, estén en la clase, ellos pueden saber de que esa persona que está en la clase, que no está en, la, en los registros de ellos, está allí porque es un oyente aprobado por, 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 um, por uh, inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Así que solo aclaro ese, ese puntito para que, eh, pues, tengamos su casa. En ese momento, en realidad nosotros no tenemos una clase con oyentes, pero a veces uh, sucede eso, ¿verdad? Sí, por ejemplo, en el, en el curso pasado se hubieron bastantes personas que estaban en calidad de oyente, pero que luego, pues, ya en este curso se pudieron incorporar y ya no, es, ya no están como oyentes, sino que están en la, en la lista oficial. Ok, sí. Bueno, sí, sí. Eh. A, mí, a nosotros nos habían hecho la corre, bueno, nos habían corregido anteriormente de que eh, era válido, pero si usted me dice que esto es así, no, no, no hay problema, pues, o sea, no le veo inconveniente. Pues, y gracias por la, por la aclaración. Ok, sí, eh, lo, que a veces, lo que podría hacer, por ejemplo, es um, me podría mandar un, un mensajito uh, privado, ¿verdad? Explicándome la situación y entonces veremos que, que, cómo le podemos ayudar para que se le haga más fácil, ¿verdad? Pero lo que sucede es eso de que cuando se pone la palabra listener o oyente, entonces eh, queda grabado ahí que, que esa persona como que no estuviera en la lista oficial para Insafor. Es, ese es el detalle, ¿verdad? Pero sí, claro, usted me puede eh, mandar, un, muchos de ustedes han hecho eso, ¿verdad? Me mandan un mensajito, a veces ya sea en el chat o privado, y me explican, mire, eso y esto pasa, o es solamente a poder estar escuchando por cierta cantidad de tiempo, lo que sea, ¿verdad? Y pues vemos cómo le podemos ayudar, ¿verdad? Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Ok. Um, Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Welcome, Suleima. And Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Suleima. Thank you. And Tatiana. Present. All right, welcome, Tatiana. We had missed you. Thank you. Yeah, we had missed you before, Tatiana, so I'm glad. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Huh? Es que no le escuché. Oh, I said that we missed you on Friday, so I'm glad that you were able to connect. Ah, uh, yes, I know, but I had some troubles with the router or when it, when when is um, the wind. Uh huh. I have too much troubles with. Yeah, that. It happens. It's okay. Yeah, so I'm just glad. I'm glad for the people that were not here on Friday that are here. So thank you very much, I'm, I'm glad. Um, solo una, una recordatoria y una sugerencia al mismo tiempo que eh, cuando ustedes no puedan asistir a clase por X motivo, uh, eh, les, um, les recomiendo y les recuerdo de que están, está el video subido en, en el, la, la lista de YouTube, ¿verdad? Uh, para que ustedes, y también la plataforma, ¿verdad? Si usted no sabe cómo ingresar a la a, a YouTube, a mí está en la plataforma para que usted lo vea. Eh, para que usted no se pierda nada de la información, ¿verdad? Y no esté perdido el próximo día cuando venga a clase, porque a veces muchos me dicen, teacher, pero es que no estuve el día anterior. Pero para evitar eso, entonces podemos ver el video, um, ver las explicaciones, pero no, tienen, no tenemos que ver todo el video, ¿verdad? A veces eh, solamente podemos adelantarlo para poder identificar las partes donde están las explicaciones o tener una, idea, una mejor idea de qué se hizo, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Okay, so um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to start with our PowerPoint. Uh, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Okay. Oops. 
All right, you guys, can you see it? You can't see it? When yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Um, all right, so we have running a focus group conversation. Uh, your teacher or your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. This is the intermediate um, two, and it's class number 10. Okay. All right. So um, let's begin. Um, we are going to start with a, with a activity that we were working on Friday. So it says here, work in small groups, retake the new the new product idea your group presented in unit one. Discuss two testing strategies to fit the characteristics of the project. Brainstorm the advantages of test, testing the product using the strategies in the group have, the group have selected. Decide on the best strategies to test the new product. Present your analysis to the, to the class. But we started this on Friday, but we had a little confusion. Uh, mostly it was because uh, we were not, um, sure which group we were supposed to work with. So um, I told you that we were going to do that again to, um, today and that I was gonna ask you to remember the name of the people in your group, okay? So remember, the idea is um, you are going to work with the group that you were working with before about the product or service idea you're gonna discuss two strategies that can be appropriate or can fit the characteristics of the product or service that you are, you are planning to um, launch to the market. You're going to discuss the advantages of testing the product using the strategies the group have selected. So why, why use that strategy? um that that testing strategy um what advantages are there then between the two you're going to decide which one is the best one so you're going to look at the advantages of one of one test the advantages of another test and decide between the two tests and then you're going to present your analysis to the class don't don't do it just present and say why you think that is the best strategy to use does that make sense Does that make sense or not really? Sure. Yes? Okay, so I'm going to um, do this. Um, I'm going to ask you, remember I told you, remember your group so you can tell me which group you are in. So I'm gonna start. By uh, randomly, así como veo. Um, let's start with Cristina. Cristina, who are you with? Excuse me. Who are you with? Which group? La última semana hablamos, yo no tenía grupo. No tenía grupo. Oh, okay. Va, vamos entonces. Uh, okay. No problem. Eh, Carolina, who was in your group? Carolina, who was in your group? Just teacher. Um, uh, uh -huh. Estoy con Ana Cristina, Ani y Marisol. 
Ana Cristina. Ani. Oh, Ani no está. Ok, ¿y qué más? Carolina. Carolina, ¿con qué más? Le decía, teacher, con Ana Cristina, con Ani y con Marisol. Pero Ani y Marisol no están. Solo sería con, con Cristina. Con Ana Cristina. Uh -huh. Ok. Vale, muy bien. Ese es el último grupo, ¿verdad? El que le enseñé en la, en, con el, 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 el que le aparecía en, en, la, en la pantalla, ¿verdad? Que los proyecté. Sí, ¿verdad, Carolina? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. But let's go on to the next group. Next room. Uh, Christy. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, who are you with? Teacher, perdone. Uh -huh. Acabo de revisar. No, es que después corrigió el grupo. Perdón. Eh, yo soy del grupo 1 que estoy con Karen Yesenia Martínez, con Karina Noemi Álvarez, con Nelson Gabarrete pero, pero, y con Jorge, creo que parece. Perdón, no. Va, Saben que vamos a hacer mejor, voy a mejor irme directamente a la lista, no voy a hacer. Uh -huh. Ok, va. Según lo que yo tengo aquí en la lista. It's like this. Um, ok. So. Group number one. Give me a moment. Okay, group number one, I have a, oh, wait a second. Hmm. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay. Va. De acuerdo a lo que yo tengo acá. Carolina, you are with Karen. Karina. Y Nelson. Nelson. Nelson G. Okay. Okay. All right. Group number two, I have. Ani, who is not here, Jorge, and Nelson A. In group number three, I have Cristina, oh no, sorry, Cristi, Cristi, um, Miguel, and Sulema Melgar. In group number four, we have uh, Mari, who is not here, and Leonardo, who is not here, who is just would be him. Okay. Okay, good. Um, va. Entonces, esos son las personas que estuvieran el viernes 
antepasado. Y los que no aparecen ahí es porque no estuvieron el viernes antepasado. Así que lo que voy a hacer es que los voy a reubicar en esos cuatro grupos. Y las personas que ya saben parte de ese grupo les van a ir explicando cuál es el producto o el servicio que se escogió como grupo. ¿Ok? Y ojo con eso, le voy a, a volver a repetir. Grábense este grupo. Si quieren pueden escribirlo en algún lugar para que no se olvide con quién están trabajando. ¿Ok? Va. Entonces, uh, lo que voy a hacer es de que... Um, con... Vale, con group, on, group number one, I'm going to add Marlene. Ok. So Marlene's group is going to be in group number one. In group number two, I'm going to have Annie and Linda. In group number three, I'm going to have Norma and Olga. And in group number four, I'm going to have Omar, Suleyma Rodriguez, and Tatiana. Okay? Questions? Teacher? No. I don't have a group. Yes, you do. You're in group number one. Ah, uh, sorry. Thank you. Okay, no problem. All right, any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay. All right, in that case, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to give you 15 minutes to work on it. Acuérdense, van a, en todos los grupos va a haber por lo menos una persona que no estuvo con ustedes el viernes pasado, por lo que le van a tener que explicar a esa persona cuál es el producto o servicio que es, ustedes como grupo decidieron. Y luego, <coughs> después de identificar dos, um, dos, dos, dos testing, um, you're going to decide which, what are the, uh, the advantages of each testing and between the two, decide which is the best testing. Okay? Ready? Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, here we go. Uh, well, did you decide the product? Yes, in my aim. But I remember that the product, the De, no este viernes, sino que el vier, an, viernes antepasado. ¿O no? No, no fue lo de este viernes, no. No, no hicieron eso, no. Este viernes, yo no estuve el viernes, este, este viernes, ¿qué pasó? No, Fridays ago. Ah, two Friday ago. Okay. Eh. So like that, not last Friday, but the one before. Okay. Eh, yes, I think the este the presentation about uh, choose one product in comp in, in comparatives the uh, characteristic. I think so. Is was the activity. <laughs> Thank you. 
In the last group, we decided about uh, Diana snacks. Pero entonces no sé cómo lo vamos a hacer porque yes, todos okay. tenían productos diferentes. You, uh -huh. in, my case, in our case with Annie, I think it's about the pawns. La línea de producto pawns. Mm -hmm. Y tiene... Y y tiene la captura de lo que hay que hacer ahorita. Es que olvidé oh, tomar. Wait, 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 wait. Before anything, before you continue. This is not about the product line. No, no, no. Okay. Not eh. about the product line. This is about the product that you decided to launch to the, to the, ¿se acuerdan que hicieron el, el SWOT? O lo que era el FODA. Ah, uh, yes. Leonardo, creo yes. que es un que se va a recordar de eso porque si no, eh, si no me recuerdo, solo Leonardo estuvo o, o alguien más estuvo. With Yo estuve, Annie Marisol. Ah, so. Pero a mí me sacó, el sistema, me sacó el internet, así que yo lo hice sola sobre teléfono. Ah, ok. Va. Entonces ahí tienen dos productos. Ustedes estudien cuál es el que se van a quedar con este grupo. Y nos vamos a quedar, y acuérdense que este grupo va a ser el con el que vamos a trabajar en este, en, en este módulo. Entonces, acuérdense, estos, es, estas cuatro personas son o sea, los que componen este grupo. ¿Ok? So remember, always remember. ¿Ok? Y de acuerdo a ese producto van a ser el, el testing strategy. No el product line. ¿Ok? Pues cuando okay. tendríamos que hacer el, 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 el escuela entre tres productos, teníamos que escoger uno y desde ahí evaluar las, las amenazas, el FODA, si no me, y después si era viable realizarlo o no. Exactly. Ok, ya. Yeah. Okay. All right, great. Ok, vale. Eh, los dejo para que trabajen. And then, Decide the product. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, you, your product, what are your product? We talk about the Diana, Diana products, Diana. Yes. Mm -hmm. parece. No, it's a product line. Yes, it's the product line. Product line. Tatiana no está uh, este viernes, entonces uh, no hizo nada de eso. Ah, ok. Usted le va a dar a Tatiana lo que usted hizo. Ok. Usted va, va a ser el producto unánime. Ya. Yeah. De todo el grupo. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Ah, bueno. <laughs> Okay, and Omar. Sí. Eh, tú estuviste en otro grupo, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿O no? Pero el, este viernes que pasó sí estuve, pero cuando formaron estos grupos. No, tampoco. ¿quién está? Sí. Pero yo sí. me recuerdo el que hicimos en el caso mío, que era el grupo 1. En su momento creamos eh, el caso, nosotros tomamos super el de Super Selecto. No, o sea, es línea de productos también. Sino Tres creo. productos, ah, que creo que es. Pero ah, lo que comprendo acá es que debemos de armar como que un, un producto nosotros. Sí, eh, ah, es que no. Va, lo vamos a hacer muy sencillo. Rechuse the product. Leonardo, what was the product? You are the original group of number four. So, what was the product? Okay, and what the product is, uh, I think so, I remember that, a telephone con Silvia. A telephone? Okay. Yes. Vale, entonces, expliquen. Eh, vale, Silvia, entonces, eh, Zulema, usted sí estuvo con ellos, ¿verdad? El, en el, el viernes, 
el viernes antepasado. Pero se, se salió antes. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que me salí. Entonces lo hice y después lo compartí lo que había hecho. Pero pues nos quedamos en eso que ni uno ni otro producto. Ok, va. Entonces hicieron el teléfono. Van a, la, van a lanzar el teléfono. Explíquenle eh, a Omar y a Tatiana acerca del teléfono. Eso es todo. Explíquenle y después, de acuerdo al teléfono, van a hacer las pruebas. Eso es todo. ¿Ok? No okay. se compliquen. Ya se hecho. Ok. Ok. Bueno. Um, de Pong. Eh. Eh, de... Bueno, repito lo que había escrito, si gusta, Leonardo, no sé. Yes, can you repeat? Yes. No. Ok, uh, strange. Uh, the phone are necessary because uh, a new technology and, and they have more capacity. Uh, weaknesses. Uh, the technology of all of a small duration uh, the opportunities is time for innovation with the communications and third threats um, or amenaces uh, malware phishing attack etc <laughs> Mm -hmm. um. mm, is there some reason why we're we're quiet? Hello, teacher. Hello. Estamos armando la oferta, sorry, en español, pero no logramos compartir la presentación para armarla. Oh, ok, ok. Va, perdón. Cuando eso pase, pidan ayuda para que yo pueda venir y solucione este problema. Ok. Ah, ok. Be... Es que estábamos viendo si, cómo la podíamos mandar, pero. Bye. I'll be by, right back. I, es que tengo que man, regresar. Si no me equivoco, quiero ver. Sí, si no me equivoco, tengo que regresar a la a la sala principal para hacer eso. Así que ya regreso. Ok, thank you, teacher. Híjole, da cuatro años. Número tres, que es prueba... Eh. Y si hacemos ese... Now? Ok. Try, try to share now. Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Ok. ¿Cuál? Disculpe se fija en las marcas. Yes, it, it, it is the, the answer. Then we need to, to put a flavor, flavor, color, color, how it smells. Colors, it's right. Uh, smell. It yes. And the presentation. Now, presentation two. Uh, flavor, color, smell, presentation. Uh, flavor. Uh, what other? Characteristics. 
Price. Yes, price. Do you think what are other characteristics? Flavor, color, smell, presentation, price. Price. Flavor, price, presentation. Presentation, smells, smell. Um, the point is that the people don't 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 know it, the brand. Uh -huh. Just the characteristics of the product. The uh -huh. the test is compared yes. compared compared <laughs> to products and don't uh, the people don't know what is the brand. You are so, in, the in the second test right now. No, no, sorry. And this test is similar. Yes, it, it's similar. But uh, just that characteristics to to next to pass the the next the next test. Yes, ma'am. Sí. Okay. Okay. The the next test is per comparison test. We need to put the the characteristics. Se me olvidó. Brian Stains. Okay, and Brian Test is. Do you guys have any questions, any problems, something I can help you with? Mm. I, no, I yeah. think no, teacher. No, you sure? Mm, no, teacher. No. En este momento solo estamos ahorita con la lluvia de ideas. Okay. No de, problem. De, de la estrategia que hemos escogido. Okay, with the strategy. Okay, sounds good. No problem. Continue then. Anything you need, remember you can always ask for my help. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, dijimos que... Ah, sí. Copy el chakra que lo están mandando ahí a las ideas.
Pues podemos poner ya que ya que las otras estrategias no se adaptan al tipo de producto. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. Pero ¿qué otra ventaja podremos poner? ¿Por qué más lo elegimos aparte de eso? Uh -huh. mm, puede ser. Sí, porque es un nuevo producto, nos conviene ver si es bueno y que los consumidores no se basen solo en la marca. Sí. Bueno, sí puede ser también que, o sea, un nuevo producto donde el consumidor puede, puede disgustarlo. Por ser nuevo producto, el consumidor, el consumidor lo degusta. Poder preferirlo. Lo que yo creo. Vamos a poner también para la de eso, lo, lo, lo disgusta y califica el producto en el sabor y, y qué más. Pues? Sabor y calidad. Ahí puse otra en el chat, yo no sé si okay. está buena, pero ahí la puse por. Ahorita vamos a ver. Y también Malín, pero... Ah, no, Karina puso otra. Ahí. Karina, pues, sí, Karina. Ah. Uh -huh. Estaba pensando que también podríamos compararlo con el site en Handling Test. Porque um, al ser vino, quizá es más, ¿cuál es la palabra? Más lujoso, pues, que cerveza o, o otro tipo de licor, pues. Entonces, creo que ahí se podría ver la parte visual. Podría ser. Es más fino. Let's try to keep the conversation as much in English as possible so that we can practice as much English as possible, okay? Okay. So I don't know, what do you think about that? We keep with the use test or we can uh, use side? Six. Number, number one, yes, number one. Continue y and number four. Finish. Okay. So, eh, Moneric es. Entonces, side, side, en handling test sería. 
very comparison test. No, is this a good option when there are significant tactile or visual element of the product for customer to experience? Okay, está buena. Esa sí está buena, yes, entonces. Es correcto. Vale, pero yo estoy de acuerdo que esa podemos elegir, la que es una, sería un product testing. Y luego está dos, que just es, es el cinco. Consumer use a product site and handle. Pero yo creo que esto va más con el uno. Vale. Consumer use the product in real ¿Qué otro? The sequential monadic method. Consumer use or site and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Ah, uh -huh. Sí, eso está bueno también. Ajá, ese tendría algo así porque según lo que dice que hay que discutir dos estrategias para mejorar como las características del producto. Tiene que ser antes, ¿verdad? De que, que la gente como que esté el producto disponible. Correcto. In this test, eh, the product eh, se, se, se le pregunta a diferentes grupos eh, uh -huh. ¿Cuáles son las características? Decía esa definición. Eh, y para, para cómo sacar como los beneficios o algo así. Yo entendí. Uh -huh. Are we almost ready? No. No, teacher. Okay. How much more time do you need? Just a few minutes. Maybe. One hour. <laughs> All. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe one hour. One hour. Two days. How about if I give you two days? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. What I'm going to do is. Um, I am going to. Um, let's see. I'm going to return you back to the main room, take the attendance, and then we're, we'll bring you back to the main to the to your small groups okay okay Okay, um, are we finished or do you guys need more time? Are we finished or do we need more time? We need more, we need more time. We need more time, teacher. Okay. I was expecting you guys to say that. So um, I brought you back because I need to take attendance. 
and then I'll take you back to the to your rooms for a few more minutes, okay? Okay. All right. So first one, Cristina. No star, right? Ana Cristina, no, right? Okay. Um, Annie. Ani? Tampoco. Ana, no estaba al principio, ¿verdad? Sí, Cristina, Ana Cristina estaba al inicio, se salió. Uh -huh. Estaba con, con ustedes, Jorge. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, let's continue then. Um, Mari? Present. Okay, very good. And Carolina? Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Christy? Present. Excellent. Jorge? Present, teacher. Excellent. Karen? Karen's not here, right? Um, Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present teacher. Linda? Present teacher. Eh, Marlene? Marlene? Present teacher. Um, Miguel? Present. Present. Um, thank you, Nelson G. Present. Great, Nelson A. Present. Got, uh, Norma. Present, teacher. Uh, Olga. Not here. Eh, salió. Okay, Omar. Present. Eh, Suleyma Rodríguez. Present. Eh, Tatiana. I'm sorry, so, no, Suleyma Medina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Tatiana? Present. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Um, we're going to open up again the rooms. Um, how much more time do you need? Maybe just five minutes, please. Five minutes? Can you guys do it in five minutes? Yes. Okay. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. That's fine then. I'll give you guys five more minutes. Thank you. You're welcome. Espera un momentito que el sistema. Uh, Marlene, ¿con quién estaba? The number one group. Group number one con Carolina. Yep. Vaya. Okay. Es. Zulema, usted estaba con el grupo 4, ¿verdad? And, and, uh, and Chris, Cristina, who are you with? Linda. Con Linda. Linda, Jorge, Iván, Nelson, Iván. Nelson, Iván, group 2. Ok. Hello, Olga. Hello, teacher. Who were you with? ¿Con quién estaba usted? Norma. 
Suleima. Eh, ok. Solo de ella me acuerdo. Ya, el grupo número 3. Yeah, but then. no three three uh, or three songs. Three strategy. Uh, no, it's only one strategy. Blind. And the 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 thing that are in the chats are the the reasons or the characteristics. Mm -hmm. Oh no no the advantage of the testing of texting the product using the strategy. Mm. Okay. Teacher, uh, we only going to use uh, at the end one strategy or two? No, one. Okay. Two, one. Thank you. Mm, so we're going to, to talk. So going to say, okay. Okay. I'm going to repeat. Uh, we should blind this because mm -hmm. it's the most appropriate strategy for a product because also needs to be tested as it is a dream and because it is a new product, uh, the consumer tastes it um, and that is, it is convenient for us to know if it is good not only to be chosen by the brand, um, that is why we should be blind. Okay, the brand says, and to go. The time is over. It's clear. I think it's clear. What about the the other partners? What what is your opinion? Ana Cristina, what do you think? Estoy perdida. Me salí. Hoy no sé de qué habla. No sé si hablamos del mismo producto o qué. Yes, it, it's the same product. Product. Christina. And, and we choose blind test first and second Paris comparison test. Blind test because it's in, in, in this case, in blind test, the consumer focuses in the product. The consumer can touch can smell, can drink in this case, can, I don't know, can watch the presentation, but the consumer do, doesn't know the brand of the product. El consumidor no sabe, no tiene idea de qué marca es. In this case. Estamos hablando de otro producto. No, no hemos cambiado el vino. Es que yo me salí, entonces no se habían cambiado. No, el, el mismo producto. Okay, okay. It's wine, it, it's vino. Okay,
it's, it's okay, the, the blind test. Are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, all right. We're gonna bring you guys back in a moment, okay? I'm just gonna go check on the other groups. Okay. okay Our presentation, our product in this case is a chocolate, chocolate, I como se dice, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. Está algo confusa esa Chocolate. Chocolate. No, 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 no. Hold on. Chocolate. 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 Cake. Chocolate cake. Okay. Okay. Decide on the best strategy to test the new product. Miguel. Use, use test. Customers take the product on with it. Sorry, just wanted, sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to know, are you guys finished? Two minutes. Yeah? Two minutes. Two minutes, please. Okay, I'm just going to go and check on the other groups. Contact your beta elements of the product for consumer to experience. Interrupt. Just wanted to know, are you guys finished? Almost. 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 Okay, you have one more minute to finish, okay? okay. What was the what what was the answer? Okay. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Wanted to know if you guys are finished. <sighs> Um, <laughs> la verdad que eh, no hemos terminado teacher, porque hemos hallado cosas interesantes pero están en español y además están súper largos para poder hacer un resumen pero, ¿qué están haciendo? buscando las, las estrategias the advantages of the strategy en cuanto al producto que hemos leído. Uh -huh. Espera un momentito, ¿qué están haciendo? ¿Me lo repiten nuevamente? Buscando las estrategias. No, o sea, las eh, estrategias ya las tenemos, pues, pero queríamos hablar un poco más de extender un poco más el, 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 eh, la idea, extender un poco más la idea de lo que hemos estado haciendo, porque el producto de nosotros o, o el que con el que trabajamos en esa ocasión fue un vino, fueron vinos. Entonces estábamos tratando de hallar información más para enriquecer, pues. Vale, lo único que tienen que hacer es identificar cuál método de prueba es el mejor para el vino. So. Sí, ya lo tenemos. Okay, so you're finished. Mm -hmm. You're finished then, okay? I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, teach. Teacher, can I mute? Thank you. Okay, so we are going to start in 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 order: one, two, group number one, group two, group three, group four, 
you're going to tell us what is the product, which method you consider, which, sorry, which testing strategy do you consider would be the best one and why? That's it. Okay, simple as that. What is the product? What's, uh, what is the testing strategy you want to use and why? Okay, so you don't, you don't need to have everybody in the group share. You just need one person, okay? So I'm gonna start with group number one. Group number one is Carolina, Karina, Marlene, and Nelson G. So, who wants to go? Okay, teacher. Uh, teacher, um, uh, how, how product is a wine made from grapes with, with our brand? Uh, how, how group, uh, how group, uh, Uh, a group uh, uh, Carolina, I can explain if you want. Uh, I don't know if you are away. Do you want Karina to help you? Mm -hmm. Carolina, do you want Karina to help you? How product teacher uh, is a wine made from grapes uh, with how brands? Uh, um, how group uh, uh, juice test a uh, branded test? Uh, brand test test uh, advantage uh, um, number one how product need to be tested uh, number two add is new product it is convenient for for us now not it is good not only to be it's chosen by the brands uh, because it is a new product the consumer tastes it and is able to prefer it finish okay very good to prefer it excellent bravo thank you very much okay all right next is uh, Christina. Jorge, Linda, and Nelson A. It's group number yes, two. Yes, teacher. Uh, the group, the group number two is connected with with the group number one because the product is the same. It's wine. Oh, okay. So you are you are the competition. <laughs> yes. Okay. But, but we we choose the two testing. The number one is blind test, the number two per comparison test. Uh, that's, that's the, that's, that's it, or so that, that's, are the, the bots uh, test that we choose, but uh, we, we choose the best, or we, we decide the best is blind test because uh, this test focus strictly in the characteristics of the product, like flavor, tasty, smell, uh, presentation, etc. Just that. 
Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Bravo. Excellent. Thank you. Now we're going to go to group number three. In group number three, we have um, Christy, Miguel, Norma, Olga, and Suleima Milgar. Good evening, everyone. Here we present our new product, chocolate cake. This is to testing a strategy to fit the characteristic of the product. The strategies are blind test. Products are tested on branded, so the consumer focuses strictly on the product's characteristics and not on the brand name. The second strategy is use test. Customer takes the product home with them, become familiar with the product. Brainstorm the advantage of testing the product using the strategies the group have selected. Blinding the test, the portion of the testing is to be honest with the customer to tell the factories that will be an advantage with the competitive brands. And use it test the customer key the product to be used every day as the sampling or for an extended period as they will usually use it it in their only house. Decide on the best strategy strategy to test the new product. Use test, customers take the product and with them become familiar with the product. Thank you. Okay, very good. Um, so um, I wasn't clear which which tested which which test did you choose in the end? What what was the test that you chose? The use test feature. Use test. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Round of applause. Excellent. Sure. Yes. A college I will be the first client. Sorry. College. I will be the first client. Oh, bye. <laughs> okay, there you go. A group chocolate cake. Yeah, group number three. You you have a you have a uh, a loyal customer already. Okay, excellent. Very very good. Yeah, it looked very good actually. I love chocolate, so I can tell you it looked very very good. Me I too. Was, I, okay, Me so too, teacher. Go. All right. We yeah. Bye, anyway. You already have four clients just right there. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, group number four, the last group we have Mari, Leonardo, Omar, Suleima Rodriguez, and Tatiana. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, everybody. We talk about or we decide uh, about cell phone, a new cell phone. Uh, we think uh, we need to, in product testing, use siding handling and sequential monadic. Uh, the advantage is because if we use the product before this in the market, uh, we can fix all the mistakes or all the problems with the apps. And 
the quality of the design of the cell phone and we need to offer a, a very, very, how do you say, uh, avanzado or high, high innovation or innovador. Mm -hmm. Innovative. Okay, and after that, we decide the the best product testing is sight and handling because the people can use the phone in real time. When like when you go to the, uh, for example, Tigo and Claro, you can touch the cell phone and you try the phone, and after that, you can decide if going to be a good option. That's all. Excellent. I don't know if if my 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 partners want to uh, add something. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to add something? No. No, it's okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good, excellent. I'm glad, um, very good, um, excellent, very, very good. Now, did you notice that you guys chose different uh, strategies, right? For the most part, you chose different strategies. Why did you choose different strategies? Well, because your products were different, right? Um, and different products, different services are going to need different testing, right? Um, for example, you can't do a, a use test with a chocolate shake, cake, right? That wouldn't make sense, right? You're not going to use the cake. You're going you're gonna to be test, tasting the cake. That's what you're going to be doing. So it's not going to be the same thing, right? Uh, or for example, in the case of the phone, well, you, the phone, you can't be doing, um, you can't be doing a test like a, um blind like, test a blind yeah exactly um uh, it wouldn't really make sense so it's really going to depend on what your product is right that's the, that's the main idea okay all right so excellent very good job bravo to everybody okay excellent uh now remember your groups the people that were in your groups in this activity, we're going to continue working with those with those people. So don't forget, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, we're going to move on to the next activity. I'm going to ask you to tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. I can see your PowerPoint. Wonderful. Okay. So we're going to practice this conversation we have here. It says, why do you think it's necessary to test products before they are released to the market? In general, what do you guys think about this question? Why do you think it's necessary to test products before they're released to the market? To know if the product can generate money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very good important point there right we don't want to have a, a a product that is not going to be um you know yeah it's not it's not going to be uh affordable yeah affordable right it's not going to make us money because it, if it's not going to make us money then it may even make us lose money and that doesn't make sense right so definitely mm -hmm. what what other reason any other reasons Any other reasons you can think about? Because the owners eh, don't want to lose money, teacher. I think is the the main reason. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah, right. So we want to see if the if the product is actually going to be accepted into the market, right? Uh, so we want to make sure that it has success. Have you ever tested a have you ever tested a product? Personally, have you have you ever tested a product? Uh, maybe, ever co tested? maybe coffee. 
Coffee, okay, all right. Okay. Based in, uh, I don't know how to, to say when you uh, taste a lot of uh, brand of coffee in this, at, at the same time. In the supermarket. Mm, okay. Okay, so that, that would be like brand testing then, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, or it could be also monadic test. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Any other uh, products that you have tested before they go into the market, of course? Have you ever tested any products before they go into the market? No? No. Okay. All right. Now, what a now, what we're going to do is we're going to be reading the conversation between Alejandro and his dad. Remember that Alejandro had this idea of the Papa sandwich? Well, let's talk about the Papa sandwich. They're making decisions about the testing the new Papa sandwich. Okay. So as we usually do, I'm going to ask you to turn or turn off your microphone so we cannot hear you, but you can still practice the conversation in your house, in your home, okay? So here we go. Um, okay. We are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test would be the best option. Because it allows customers to see the product. Feel it. Smell it. And taste it. What about the other variables? Will the product be branded or not? I'll let you decide on that sun. Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the monadic. Customers will eat and taste our product first. And then we'll rate it. I find it more coherent for our new product the Papa's sandwich.
your learning sun. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers. The prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Okay, very good. All right, as usual, I need you to put in the chat any words that you do not um, know the pronunciation. You're still not a little bit, um, a little bit uh, curious about that. Okay, is that it? Oh, there's one more I missed. Mm, sorry, I can't find it. Ah, found it. Is that it? Okay. All right. In that case, oh, there's one more. Okay. All right. Let's check the answers then, or better said, not the answers, the pronunciation. Okay, the first word is handling. Handling. Very good. Repeat after me and open. You can open up your microphones. Handling. 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 Good. Okay. Handling. Variables. 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 Good. So it's not vary, it's very. Variables. Variables. Repeat, teacher, please. Sorry. Variables. 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 Yeah, very good. Variables. Branded. 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 Good. Prototype. 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 Proto, prototype. Proto, prototype. 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 
Audience. 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 Good. Okay. All right. Now you can give me uh, the words that you don't know the meaning. You have no idea what they mean. Write them in the chat. I'm sorry, I cannot find the word rate. Can in, the, in the column of the right, in the line number four. Oh, thank you. Anything else? that it? Okay. All right. So the first word is handling. Handling means to manipulate, to take with your hands and touch and carry and grab. That's to handle. Okay. To have in your hands, to be able to touch and do whatever you want with it in your hands. Smell comes from the nose. It's a, it's a, it's an ability that we have with our nose, so we smell. Okay. Okay. It's part. It's part of the five cents. Yes. The yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And rate in this context means to put a number of how much you like it, like it to to describe it and say, um, oh, it's this number. Okay, it's a it's a ten, it's a seven. Uh, I didn't like it so much. It's about a three or four. Okay. Qualify, so it's a it's a ten. Qualif qualify could be juice or not? Mm, no, no, because qualify to qualify something it means to I identify if something is eligible. Si algo es elegible. That's what it means in English, okay? To qualify, okay? All right, but does that make sense? Yes, yes teacher, thank you. Okay, good. All right, we're going to now go on to the next part. Um, so, what I'm gonna ask you to do is with your partner, practice this conversation. One of you is Alejandro, the other one will be the father. Then you switch, you are Alejandro, and then your partner is gonna be Alejandro. Then you're going to discuss these three questions. First question, what type of test do they decide to apply? Second question, what testing method will they, will they implement for the Papa sandwich and why? And third question is, what are the next decisions Alejandro and instead will take about testing the pop, the new Papa sandwich. Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna get you to work in pairs. We're going to recreate the rooms. One moment. Okay, you ready? We're opening the rooms right now.
La Miss, perdón. Yes. Practice, practice the air exercise is read the, the conversation. Page, page number 20 of the manual. Okay, Alejandro or Father. Uh, maybe you can start. Yes, ready. We, we are ready to test our new product. What do, do we do? First, I think design and handling test would be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and taste it. Yeah, remember cu cu customers. Customers. Yeah, not Thank customers, you. but cu customers. customers. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. What about the other variable? Will the product be branded? You're learning. So, son. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the prototype or target audience, marketing, etc. Okay. okay. I start. We are, we are ready to test our new product. What do we do? First, I think the site and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, smell it, and test it. What about the others? Variable, will the product be branded or not? And let you decide on that song. Great, as for the method, I was thinking about the monadic consumers will eat and taste our product first, and then will rather it. I find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You are learning some. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer the prototype of target, audience, marketing, etc. Mm, then the third, oh, no, no, is I find it more coherent for our, the, pro, the new product, the Papa Sandwich. Uh, Por qué? El guay. No, for, because it's uh, uh, he said it's the more more current because the customer will eat. I think that is why the customer will eat and taste the product first. I think. Mm. Because there are the reasons. Yes. Mm hmm. I find it more coherent for We lit up. We lit a. We lit. No. We'll eat and taste our product first. And that will rate it, will rate it. I think it more coherent the our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning soon. We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the pro prototype or target audience, marketing. Uh, ETC. Okay, finish. Finish.
You finished the questions too? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. See you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we're going to check the answers. Can you see? Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes? No? Okay, wonderful. So first question, what type of test do they decide to apply? Uh, they decide to cite and, and handling test. The handling test? Handling test. Mm -hmm. or, a, or monadic. No. Handling or monadic? I think handling. I, handling test. Handling test. In my opinion, I think it's monadic test. In my opinion, too, monadic test because father said that, que, that Alejandro, wherever to do. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll tell you something. What Alejandro says is this. I'm going to highlight it. Alejandro says, eh, I was thinking about the monadic, I find it more coherent for our new product. And does the father agree or do he, he doesn't agree? He does, right? He says, you're learning son. So it means- yeah, father agree. Yeah, he, he agrees. So they agree on the same thing. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. All right, next question. What testing method will they implement for the Papa, for the Papa sandwich and why? I'm the same, I'm not. Mm -hmm. And yes. why? And for, because uh, Alejandro said that consum consumer will eat and test our product first and then will rate it. Mm-hmm. Right, it seems to be more appropriate. Okay, good. Next question. What are the next decisions Alejandro's father will take about the testing the new Papa sandwich? We have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customer, the prototype, our target audience, marketing, etc. Good. Okay. So the, we, they have these four steps they have to take, right? Okay, good. Just remember that the word is customers, not customers, customers but ca customers. Customers. Yes, very good. Customers. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, so that's going to be all. Any questions so far? No, teacher. Okay, good. So you can see then how it, it's important to know all the different types of testing because each product or each service is going to be good for different types of, of, um, of testing or, or uh, testing. Um, strategies, right? So it's all going to depend on the type of product. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. And before we finish, 
I need to take attendance. So um, have your microphones ready. So we can just say, you know, are the magic word, right? Which is present. Okay, let's start with uh, Cristina. Present. Very good. Uh, Annie? Present, teacher. Very good. Uh, Mari? Present. Very good. Uh, Carolina? Present. Excellent. Uh, Christy? Christy? Jorge? Present, teacher. Karen? Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present, teacher. Linda? Linda? Marlene? Present. Miguel? Present. Nelson G? Present, Miss. Nelson uh, A? Present, teacher. Norma? Present, teacher. Olga? Present, teacher. Omar? Present. Suleima Rodriguez? Present, teacher. Suleima Melgar? Present. Ray and Tatiana? Present. Okay, excellent. All right, so today would be Linda's turn, okay? So Linda, eh, quiero ver Linda. ¿Está acá, Linda? No está acá. Okay, Bye. entonces en ese caso, se puede quedar quien se quedarse. Um, si quieren hacer preguntas o algo así, con gusto las atiendo. Si no, I'll see you guys tomorrow. But remember, today you have to finish up to 2.5, 2.5, okay? And I will be checking tomorrow morning, okay? A primera hora. So see you guys, take care. See you, teacher. Hey, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher, thank you. Good night, thank you. Good night. Teacher, hasta la 2.5. 2.5, correct. Okay. Ah, okay, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, take care.